Now that we have a hello world in just all of main.rs, uh, let's move things out into different uh, folder structure because that can be really helpful in, well, not just having a single giant file where everything lives. I mean, we're gonna be working with components and one of the best things about components is, well, separating things out a little bit. So the way I'm planning on doing this is moving our app component to the live.rs file. Well, we don't have the one yet, yet but uh, that's gonna change. So we're gonna create a live daughter s I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to cut this out put you in cut you out put you in here um now of course we do need to pull in the uh the u um prelude for this And I also need to make this function public so we can gain access to it uh, from the um, from main. Everything else should be pretty much the same so, though. In main.rs, uh, we don't even need this U prelude because we're just going straight to, uh, we're just using the create itself. So get rid of you. Uh, start app. Now this app, we need to pull in the actual app component. So I'm gonna use, um, I'm on a Windows system for this video. We're using control dot and uh, Rust Analyzer with um, VS Code is going to allow me to import uh, that app component uh, from the full crate. So if I hit save, uh, let's come back here and rerun our app. Uh, we're running, let's head in here. Um, everything is still working. Now, if we want to make sure that things really are working, I'm gonna move this over to the right. Uh, I'm gonna move you over to the left. Let's, let's add some exclam exclamation marks. So if I hit save. Did you rebuild? I see it rebuilt here i hit refresh and it's uh it's working so everything does seem to be working now uh exactly as we want so this is going to be a much better sort of like system um now if we want to start preparing ourselves for better architecture we can add in some folder structure here so um what i plan is having components inside of a, a component um folder and as we sort of build out and experiment with them we're going to throw them in here uh, inside of there I, I kind of like the idea of the atomic folder structure so I like atoms um, and then inside of components we're going to have uh, what, are, what, are, what are they called it's atoms it's molecules Um, and then organisms. Uh, you can name these whatever you want to name them. Uh, to me, it just makes the most sense. Like things like buttons would go into atoms. Molecules might be like two buttons in a row or maybe like several different um, elements combined together. And an organism would be something like a nav bar. Uh, something that like is many different things made up together to create something that has its own um, well, its own life essentially that then we can pull into a full page which that also reminds me we also are going to have pages we're not going to uh, it's going to be a while before we get to all of these but i wanted to show you that this is going to be the general structure that we're going to be working with here so anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll we'll see you in the next video bye